Hi, this is Whitney with Policy Fact Software, and in this video, we're going to talk about how to log on to the customer portal and what you're going to find once you get there. So you'll start by going to policypack.com, and you'll go to this customer login link right here. Then we'll get here, and what's going to happen is you will receive an email to your own email address that contains a randomly generated password. So when you come here, you'll enter in that email address and the randomly generated password and we can either jump to the portal or to the forum from here. We're going to start with the portal and discuss the forum a little later. So here we are logged in. We'll start by talking about this dashboard briefly and then we'll be able to discuss each section of it a little more in depth in just a minute. So we start with up here in this upper left hand corner we have the latest bits. The bits are the part of policy pack software that you need to install to make it all work. We next have the available trainings. We will talk about that once we get to the training tab. But you can see this here and quickly register yourself for a training. Here we have the basics of your company and its licensing situation. So in this case, this guy's only licensed for the Policy Pack Cloud Edition, but if you had on-premise or the compliance reporter, then you would see the information here, just like you do here. Finally, over here, we have the latest updates, both our packs, which are the little, little guys you need to make the application manager work, and the XML advice, which is basically a little bit of help we give you to make things work a little better for you. So we'll start by looking up at these tabs. So let's look at downloads. This is where you go to download literally anything you need from Policy Pack. You can either download a single pack, which is the DLL files that you need for the application settings manager portion of Policy Pack. You can, this is where you can download a single pack at a time for a single application. If you wanted to download all of them at once, you'd click here and would want to make sure that you wanted to download all those packs. We're going to say no this time. And it lets us know it was canceled right here in the corner. Here we have the latest bits. Those are the downloadables that you have to install to make Policy Pack work, like we talked about. So here you can choose to download the latest bits. Before you do, you're going to have to look at this end user license agreement and you'll scroll all the way down to the bottom, reading, of course, every word. And you click accept. And once you do that, this shows you the change log of what we've done to upgrade and fix Policy Pack software. And here's where you can download it either as a zip or as an ISO. Next, we have our latest manuals. Pretty straightforward. It tells you how to use each component of Policy Pack and also some stuff on specific areas like Policy Pack or Internet Explorer. You can download the, indiv the manuals individually or you can download them all at once here. Next, we have the on-prem licensing tool. If you need to download that, we will let you know and tell you how to do that when the time comes. But here's where you would go about doing that. Here we have XML files, both STIGs and files for specifically Least Privilege Manager, Browser Router, and File Associations Manager. If you need to get download those, you would go to here. And once again, we have the download area right there or just here. Finally, at the bottom, you can download everything, the bits, the packs, and the manuals, and not the advice, because that may be a very specific situation, but you're probably going to need the bits, the packs, and the manuals. So I recommend you start there if you're new to the company. You click there. Again, we get that EULA. Again, we'll scroll through to the bottom. And here we are. We accept. And once again, we can do the ISO or the ZIP, and you download it here. Next, we're going to look at available training. We now have a training style called a deep dive demo that takes about 15 to 30 minutes to complete, and it talks about a specific component of Policy Pack. We have some recurring weekly demos that happen here. Um, I do most of them, as you can see. And this is the website and portal basics that you can get started with the cloud edition and so on. If you're interested in that, you can click on the register me button and you can choose to register yourself right here. You can also register a teammate if you want to have a teammate join you for that deep dive demo. Now let's look at your company. This is pretty straightforward. It just tells you this information here and how what your licensing is as we saw before. And that's that. Next we have your contacts. 
this is where you can go to add contacts to your company or edit ones that already exist. We have several different varieties of contacts. The primary is the main person in charge of Policy Pack software and the one that we will be contacting if we have any questions or if something comes up. Secondary contacts are people who are using Policy Pack but aren't in that point position. The billing contacts are important because they help us when we come around to renew every year. And then the others contact goes with somebody that may need to get the information but isn't necessarily using Policy Pack or just doesn't happen to fit in the previous categories. Finally, we have invitations which allows you to invite someone to join the company and it will automatically send them an email with the, uh, with the password and all of that, That's similar to what you received before. Finally, we have your profile. This just allows you to change your information and change your password if you need to. If you want to change it from that default password, which I recommend, change that password right here. Click Update. The last thing we're going to talk about briefly is the forums. If you have a how do I question, I would recommend you ask it in the forum so that someone who has the same question later can benefit from your confusion. So go here and you can post in any of these categories if you have a browser router question post in browser router and so on and so forth. So that's that. That is the forum, that is the portal, and that's what you need to know to get started. Thanks and see you next time.